FTC Sports. You think he sports? This is FTC. Okay, what's up, everybody? It has been a very long time since I've gotten to say this, but we're at FGC Meetups. <laughs> yeah. Offline. Hi. Guilty Gear Strive. This is Callisto. I'm here with Kizzer Crate. What's uh, going on? It's, it's, it's been a long tunnel. It has been a long, long road to get here. I wouldn't say we're at the end of it, but we found, we found a couple mile markers, right? We found, uh, we found some light. And up first, uh, we're going to be getting in some Guilty Gear, man. That's what I like to hear. I mean, you already know, you already know how I feel. Oh, we're jumping. And right this is what right I like, it. right? We have nobody exe, longtime anime player against Rick McSick, the Tekken player. Yeah, and one thing about Strive is it's definitely brought a, a crossover between a lot of different uh, game players that would never really interact with each other. Yeah, I feel like this is like so far been really similar to to early Dragon Ball, except yeah, maybe a little more staling power, right? Like. Dragon Ball, I think people knew right away, like, whether or not it was for them. Yeah, big 3v3 team fighter, but now we got some good old one-on-one -on -one action. And yeah, nobody actually applying the pressure. Uh, nice movement by Rick McSick out of the corner, but he's still down a chunk of health, and the counter man is just calling. Here come the Dolphins, trying to get something started, fishing for a counter hit. Slide head knocks down. What's the next? Oh, yep. And... Just pressure and 2K2D seals it for nobody XD in the first round here. Yeah, simple stuff. I mean, he's generally a pretty, pretty simple player, right? He doesn't try to go too hard on shenanigans unless he wants to make you feel bad. He bullies me sometimes, but same. same. He's not going to show that in bracket against most people. Going with the Mega Fist there to get in. Doesn't oh. quite get the car, the car pop up. Yeah, still in block stun. Had the input at least. You know, that's the hard part, right? Getting, yeah. the, getting the actual Kara is a little bit trickier than it seems. But a Rick Sick coming back here with a great second round. Guy still has a pretty sizable life lead, even though nobody used to use working his way out now. Good jump over the slide hit. Yeah, Doesn't didn't like quite get the air dash over, but at least he's seeing it and sort of getting in right. That's the first step against slide head. Seeing if someone knows to either get in the air or to block it. Yes. Yeah, it's, a, it's been an adjustment of feeling out here between these two players. You know, again, it's people who haven't really uh, interacted with each other. I guarantee, other yes. Game. These two have never fought before in any game. That, right. is, that is a guarantee, for sure. And nobody actually going to clean up game one here. Long time pod player. Uh, definitely a fan of the grapplers for some strange yeah, reason. Yeah, very sadly for me, as someone who I invite <laughs> over to my house on a regular basis for games, uh, not, not the most fun, but yeah. Rick trying to apply the pressure in the corner, but not quite finding the spots for the Dolphin yet. There's the 2D knockdown, going to get out of the corner here. Doesn't quite get it off to 2H. Small punish by nobody XE. There's the guard. Time to guess. And there's the power pot buster. Yep. Whatever you do. Do your best to not block guard and impact because the situation afterward is not good for you. Alright, another another opening lead for Rick McSick here. Or Rick McSick, excuse me. Good pull slash. Don't worry, I've known him for like two and a half years and I do the same thing every time. <laughs> Ooh, clips a uh, slide head this time with uh, jumping heavy. Base the burst. Rick McSick looking really good here. Oh, Garuda though, yeah. Decides, decides this burst immediately. Don't. Do not blame them at all. And there's the, the, the back car on Mega Fist in the corner. I'm just going to go put it out there that that's basically a DP. He gets off the ground so quickly that if you're going low as your meaty, his boxes just aren't there anymore. Oh, but big big buster. Yeah, is that buster. it? No, no meter RC. Chip is starting to become a factor here. Rick RC? Sick. Yeah, burns some meter. Oh. Good. Yes. Excellent up dolphin. We haven't seen that yet. Yeah, the set. flash dolphin. You know, you see so much normal horizontal the the Totsugeki that you forget that there's multiple versions of it. Up until you get hit. Yeah. Now is that invuln? Is that like actually invuln in any way on wake up the, the vertical one or no. is that just no, yeah? No, 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 no. It's just a box. Garuda, guard break. Yeah, gonna get the two D there. Spins the fifty. Yeah. Guard of time. Goes for the buster. Good jump by Rick Sick. Gonna convert this pretty big. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little surprised that nobody is spending that meter on Hammerfall because he didn't wait to see if Rick McSick knew that it was punishable yet, right? He hasn't been kind of like seeing 
what he can throw out with Mega Fist and Hammer Fall yet. Oh my goodness. But that was very Speaking about you know being able to throw things out there, uh the minus the minus on block JU, but it's such an awkward situation and so much block stun that like you forget. Oh, okay. okay. Kids are getting called for, for a match here. All right. I am going to go beat somebody up. Yeah, I'll be good back. luck. <laughs> I you. think you're in my pool, so don't go too... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have enough people that we are, we are in fact, broken out into pools today. Uh, very healthy turnout here. A uh, reminder that we are at Ignite Skokie. We used to be at the Elson location. Uh, the old night, Mondays, uh, they're no longer open on Mondays at the moment. Mondays and Tuesdays, I believe Ignite uh, Chicago is closed. But they did give us this gigantic fucking venue. Ignite Skokie, the event center. We can barely do it justice with the amount of space in this venue. So a lot of room to work with here. A lot of, a lot of room to space out, uh, which is nice. So going to work on getting our next match here. OK. All right. All right, as they're trying to find us another match uh, in this gigantic bracket for a local weekly. Uh, it's been a very long time since long I sat next time. to oh, my buddy I am, I am Noah here. Out. What is up? Don't worry, Dory. It's it's a new mixer. I'm still learning to work it. We're we'll, getting uh, there. We, well, you know, you don't know how loud you gotta talk through a mask. It's all things that yeah. you gotta figure out together. I feel like I should have practiced this at home, honestly. Right? The the mask commentary, uh, getting used to it. Uh, the important thing is that we are focusing safety first. They're being very good about policing mask usage yes. here at Ignite. We're trying to appropriately distance where we can. Mm -hmm. Looks like I see Chris Chaos stepping up as our next match. Gonna be Chris Chaos against nine one. Uh, Nine, Chris had a buy as one of our higher seed mm -hmm. players in the area. Uh, Nine, Nine one also goes by Variance. Okay. He plays Skullgirls. I know he plays my team mm. at Skullgirls actually. Uh, Parasol I I, player. Yeah, exactly. We may see some footsies here. May see some honest fighting game play out of Nine one. Will uh, Chris Chaos? Let Wait, do hold that on. Though? You also play double, so scratch everything double that you is just heard. Fundamentals incarnate, dude. <laughs> you don't. You don't know, man. What's up, chat? What's up, Chicago? What's up, internet? Welcome to Fighting Games here in Skokie, Illinois. So good to be back. Yes. Yeah. Who does 9-1 play? I have no idea. It looks like, uh, well, you know what? Uh, nobody actually played pot, so yeah, it was just hovering. Looks like we have a Zotto pick. Right. Chris Chaos, unsurprisingly, going with the chip. Uh, that's who we played in excerpt prior to... Uh, prior to answer coming out, big fan of the ninjas. Uh, so it looks like he's gonna stick with it here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Sato versus Chip, both very oppressive Ooh, characters what? once they can get started. Absolutely, I think Chip's got oh, a good. Speaking of getting started. Good way of just, uh, both players have a good way of impressing each other, but Chip is just sneaky enough to get around that first initial conversation, so to speak. Yeah, and that round start, uh, that round start button yeah. press there. Round start is not a great situation for Zato. He does no. not have the best normals. Once he gets started, he can do ridiculous yes. stuff, right? Some of the best pressure in the game, but that, that specific round start situation with no meter and sort of pedestrian normals. But that's the option there. Backdash, start up Eddie, but didn't quite get it going. First out. No confirm, but still has control. 16, nothing. Okay. Chris Chaos applying the pressure. Oh, yeah, found the leaf grab. Caught him looking for a moment. Cross up, playing El Fuerte. Wall break, that's it. Yeah. Even if that didn't break, the, the amount of meter that would have been gained from the positive yeah, no, bonus, that was a bad situation. Positive bonus so strong in this We didn't game. even see what 9-1 has up his sleeve. Didn't even get a chance to get it going. Will it happen this time? Let's go. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Chris is doing a great job of avoiding the situation. Here's the knockdown. And again, out of there. GP's guessing right at every chance. Back dash out of there. All right. He's up in life, though. Even with not really setting up a game. Yeah, he found the hit. Didn't quite get the splat. That was a good burst by Chris Chaos here. Avoiding the splat, avoiding the extra damage. And also just Zato with meter. 
gets to extend his pressure so well. Both of his supers are very good at restoring yep. Eddie. Uh, Amorphous able to just kill enough time and block stun, and the other super just actually refills Eddie instantly, so. Yeah, despite not really being able to get started, he was just guessing right at every neutral interaction there and won the round off of it. Oh, yeah. that's... And against Chip, that's enough, right? Yeah. His low enough health straight yep. hits matter a yep. lot against Chip. Oh, no, just runs up, though, finds the 5K. It's not going to be it, but it Into another splat. So much meter to play with. The good news is that positive bonus does not refresh if you find a splat when it's yeah. already on. So. It doesn't refresh, it doesn't stack. But it just starts over. Moving on to set point here. Oh, that's still combo. Oh my goodness. Hey. A little too far to speak. You know, you get one that you're like, what? That combo and then 5k just whiffs <laughs> yeah. after a jump in. So. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Big damage. Eddie refreshing though. Danger. Yep, Chris knows it. Yep, chasing down. Gets tagged. Any meter back. Frog's out. Bring him back. Yeah, taking right. his time. Yeah, finds Ooh. the flight into the Jage. Doesn't respect the DP, though. Has a lot of meter. I'd like to see him. There's a BRC, but it was leaf grab. I feel like he might have been able to jump during the the RC flash. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not, it depends on how far along he was in the grab, I guess. Chip. Tough yeah, break, though. This is the important part is every time you fight a chip player, this is yeah. what happens where the chip player tells you what the fuck just happened. <laughs> because... <laughs> Actually, it was kind of weird because during the RC, I myself was actually, I wasn't sure if it was Alpha Blade or if it yeah. was the grab. It was actually kind of tough to. Sometimes he just disappears yeah. and either way, you got to call exactly. it out with a chicken uh, chicken jump or yeah, something, like, you know? Like the slowdown happened exactly when he disappears. Like, wait, which one? <laughs> what, what did he just throw out there? And I, that, that's relatable to me. I, I find that a lot of times I kind of misjudge what the situation after a BRC when they did not commit to anything, right? In your head, you're like, I'm going to backdash BRC and I'm going to punish them. But then sometimes they don't, and then sometimes your BRC is out of range where the, the burst part doesn't actually hit them, mm -hmm. and they're not even in the slowdown, so you just gotta yeah. hit, you're just back to neutral. So, uh, looks like we're getting set up for our next, oh, oh, we're getting set up for our next match. Okay. Uh, you remember how to do this guy? I think I remember yeah, how to yeah. do this one. Should be pretty straightforward here. Yeah, I got buttons. Welcome to the Noah directed stream, stream chat. I hope you're ready for the cleanest production that the second string can give you. Right now we got T-Swag and our streamer extraordinaire, Callisto. Thank you, putting in the names for me. Player can, there we go. Welcome, welcome once again. I hope Callisto wins so he doesn't, you know, bad talk himself when he gets back on mic. And T-Swag, I have no idea who he plays. So that'll be interesting. I think this is what I want. There we go, look at that. I know the buttons. Let's go. So Callisto obviously with Kai. T-Swag I think just went straight into button select. I'm not sure who he plays. So nice to see everybody. Hello, Noah. Hello, John. Welcome. Hi. I just couldn't bear to see you alone on stream. No, I was chilling, but if you <laughs> want to join in, I'm fine. Yeah, Kai Giovanna okay. is um, a matchup I need to learn, so I actually want to front row this, th this is pretty even. I feel like Kai can like kind of edge it out just because like mm -hmm. big buttons will right. do that to Geo. Right. But it's like big buttons that you can that you can guess around. So right. So it's it's fairly even from what I've played. I feel like it's even. For the most part, I know that Kai's like biggest tools are obviously like 6P for Spiral Arrow. Yeah. Clearly. Um, and 6H because um, I forget her normal. It's like a ground pound normal, like probably 2S or something. Dual she uses that a lot to try and defuse 6P in the neutral. He's in there already. Her Makoto dash is crazy, by the way. It's wonderful. I know. It's it, like when I started playing her, this, that was like, oh, okay, I get to do this. I just get to weasel my way into any situation. Awesome. Nice 5k counter pose. Yep. Spends a meter. 
Ooh, nice! Oh my beautiful. gosh, that's a beautiful conversion from mid screen. Gets the break. Swag. All right, stun dipper first hit RC. Nice burst fake. Kalista, oh, because he went for the 5H, he didn't get the corner. She popped up weird, so Fuja Arc sent her flying backwards. But he gets to go for it again. Pretty even. He swagged tons of meter, though. What's he going to do with it? He takes her it immediately just for pressure. Gets the risk. Nice. All right. Woo! Meaty 5K. Let's go. That's the weirdest meaty. 5K? I think, I think that's the weirdest meeting in this game. I just feel very strange every time I have to block that. I've been doing it since Exert and it still feels it's, weird. It's, it's weird. Yeah. It's like, what am I doing? What game am I playing? Blocks at that time. Gets a punish. Not great punish, but hey, he's ready for it. That's right. all it counts. Stopping her momentum is like the biggest yes. thing in this matchup. So like really anywhere where you can tell her like no. Yeah. So stopping that rhythm is huge. Nice. Confirm. This is wall break. No. Oh, wow. It is wall break. You're right. <laughs> yes, sir. What's the mix? What am I doing telling the Kai player what the Kai does? <laughs> uh, come on. And again. Let's get it, Kalisto. All right. Two wall breaks, one round. Go crazy. So off that um off that wall break scenario mid-screen, I think if Callisto does FD break after air dash, he does get a high-low mix-up 50-50. It's kind of crazy because he falls back. Yeah, that's definitely something I need to play around with more. And it's a cool kind of take on FD breaking that they did for this game. That's yeah, it really is. Um, I'm wondering if he can get like a cross-up mix-up off that too. But anyway, wow. Probably not. It would be a fake cross-up, that's for sure. Damn, Geo. Yeah, it ended that quick. <laughs> well, if there's any time that I'm going to pontificate about the game, it's when Geo just runs trains. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> it works. It works, Chad. It works. All right. It's defensive uh, round start from both of them. Yeah. They both want to get started and not want to do anything to get the other person started. Oh, dang. No damage off that. Oh, careful. Careful. All right. I, I'm not sure how Fireball came out, but he's going to eat the wall for his trouble. Wall ah, break. Oh. So good. Why don't I do that? What a genius conversion. <laughs> Gold burst. Gold Lewis burst. Wow. Man. Dive Super goodness. is also, like, one of the ways that I just... Oh, it's beautiful. That's a beautiful move right uh, there. Yeah. Also, how did T Swag? That was. I was not expecting that gold burst. He he had that reversal timing down. Down pat. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. Oh, missed time the meaty. I don't know if you can get 5k from that far away, Brian. Probably. Okay, burst to keep the corner. Fudra arc. He blocked his standing. He could have challenged. Not blocking low. No. All right. Got taken so, oh, let's Good. get it. Good stuff. No death, but he's got the setup mid screen. What's he got? <laughs> <laughs> I respect it. I, I respect it a lot. He didn't want to be anywhere close to her, so he just kind of didn't want to run away. If you have meter, it doesn't matter what you do. You respect everything. Right. I really respect when when uh can, like players are aware that the other person has 50 meters, so they hold that they, yep. no matter what. Lock on the dust. Uh, I feel like he could have side switched there, but still gets the damage. So that's good. And it was going to coast to coast, so yeah, he's fine. Right. Oh, Let's okay. See. All right, last round, last game. Oh, I think I'm getting called for my pool. Do it. All right, what you got? How's this going to end? Okay, Callisto with the pressure. I'll pack life, but that doesn't mean too much. Big DP. Just a little bit of damage. Corner. Pressure. Ah, uh, with the throw, didn't have meter to RC, burst in the corner. Pressure up, bursts out to get some space. No good, but punishes the win. Now I have the corner, even on life. 
Callisto with meter. One touch should do it. Not if he RCs, though. Gets him set up. She's good. Oh, nice. Is that it? There you go. With the run up throw punish on the cross up. Good stuff to Callisto. He's coming back to the mic. Rejuvenated. Kai wins. I'm a Guilty Gear player. I, I, taught, play, I play Guilty Gear. I taught you everything I knew, and, and, and you took all of that knowledge to good use. I. I play the Guilty Gear, you, you know? play the Guilty Gear, dude. Throws are good. I know how the game works. Yeah, even though they, they changed how throws kind of work, they're still very yeah, good. Yeah, they're still, they're still, still very pretty, good pretty good. All right, so up next, going to have... Looks like we have Amadeus coming up, coming up against Shady. Uh, Shady, uh, you know, one of the best MK players in the area. Uh, I'm loving the melting pot exactly, so far, yeah. right? We, Everybody's playing. I'm a Deus Guilty Gear player for the last several years. I've uh, been playing for a pretty long time. Uh, one of our one of our many Ohio uh, imports. Welcome addition to the scene. And Shady, top tier uh, Mortal Kombat player. But he's also played a lot of Street Fighter. Um, I'm not sure how much he plays recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but it, one, me and him back in the day, right? Early Street Fighter, the Mika Boys yep. uh, early on, so. Yep. Um, and I think he did all right last week in Strive. I think he he had to made it to he made it to one of the finals out of his pools. I think we've had a pretty uh, good rate. I think of uh, seeing multiple players doing well coming from the different backgrounds. Yeah. No, it's it's really nice to see. I mean, it's you get that with uh, a little bit with every new game that comes out, but um, this one has a it's it's got a hold on people. Yeah, it really it, does. You know what? There's a lot of stuff that I think not just uh, legacy Guilty Gear players were like, well, this is different. This is not necessarily what I wanted out of the next Guilty Gear game. A lot of players from other games were like, I don't know if this is what I meant to get into. Why are throws so fast? Stuff like that. But <laughs> the game's crack, right? It is crack. The number of times that I've been like, fuck this game. I'm, not, I'm yeah. done with it tonight. I'm mad at this game. And then you turn it off. And then 10 minutes later, you're like, oh, I want to training mode some shit. And you turn yeah, it back on. To, you just want to, you know. You think about something that you could have done, and then you have to spend the next hour finding all the possibilities. And that's that's fighting games, folks. And this one is a hell of a game, but who we got? We got, uh, I didn't even see who they picked. Yeah, Amadeus, uh, Giovanna main, you know, no jam yet. Uh, and Shady, if you want to learn the game, uh, Soul is a good starting yep. point, right? This this is Dice Case yep. Vision, very good yep. character. Uh, not a ton of weaknesses, maybe. Mid-range, these two characters have similar range in their normal. Soul generally has higher reward for those counter hits, but... Yep. He's just playing pretty basic. That right there, that's staying, yep, staying in the range button. that he likes. <laughs> Amadeus so getting the knockdown. There's the two dog and baits out the burst. That's why he does... Uh, that's actually why he does back drift. Thanks to the dash momentum that you can apply to Giovanna's normals. You can drift backwards and still pick up the combo, yep. so it's a pretty, pretty easy easily. burst bait yeah. there. Yeah. And also not have to worry about blocking the burst, which can like just change your your punish timing. Oh, big punish. Doesn't get the full conversion, but still gets the corner. He's fine. Yeah, safe and this, yeah, the OTG. It's not just the safe jump. The fact that it comes off of the OTG, it makes it come faster than if he just did the hard knockdown. So you yes. have to be ready to make a decision very yep. quickly. Amadeus cleaning oh, it up. Quick. Yeah, quick. It, that, that's this game, right? This is a yeah. fast-moving game, especially at two out of three. I believe we are two out of three all the way till top three tonight. Yep. Woo! Big trade. Yeah. Finds oh, a wild throw. It, Look at the damage it. for just a single normal traded <laughs> and one grab. Yeah. Who needs combos? Scary situation oh. for Ama there for a moment. Misses needy, able to back out, but finds the hit. And again. Yep. Maybe this is fortunate for Shady, though. Weird wall bounce, yep. put him over um, uh, Giovanna's head. I'm going to got the pickup, but was forced back out to mid-screen here. Yeah, just a little bit of nerves maybe from Shady not finishing his combos. A little too far for that 6-8 six, uh, success counter hit into the gun flame. That is a absurd combo starter, yep. but do have to be close enough. Good yep. burst by Ama. Doesn't want to hold there the damage. There we go. But There's just, your finish. Yeah. Keep it easy. Nice. Shady, getting around on the board here. 
He's got him. He just needs to put it all together and a couple rounds together. 2D is oppressive, and so is Far S. Sometimes you just gotta press, press the slash button, but a little bit of an input error there. Probably looking for a gun flame. Oh, I like that combo. Amadeus currently doing uh, the important stuff of nice. using the good buttons, using that 2D yep. super disjointed hitbox Ooh. on the Giovanna sweep. As a really long uh, startup, it is 17 frame startup, which is very slow for a sweep, but seven recovery frames. Yep. That, that is oh, an no, it's, it's unpunishable button. Super disjointed box, oh, might too. be it unless he gets his burst. He will get his burst back, but okay, not dead. That's the grab, be it. yeah. I'm not sure if grabs just bypass guts, but at low health, they definitely feel like they do full damage. I think, yeah, I think I'm pretty often. sure they do. If not, close to it. Okay, first down. What's he gonna do with the space? Amadeus is gonna throw dust in his. Ooh. Oh, nice pickup! With the JK there coming down. Yeah, very nice. Takes the burst. Yeah. And Shady, maybe not 100% familiar with uh, Giovanna yet. You see him kind of challenging in some block strings yep. that are very dangerous to push in. Yep. Using the Faultless to push her out, though. I... Oh, no. Oh. The counter man. Yep, pretty huge counter. Amadeus not going for the full damage nice off that feet. counter, though. So now he's got to play the rest of this round. What is it? Box. Ooh, the... Big. I don't know what that was. A fast RC into something that zipped him to the ground. Ama in control here, though, finds the grab. That's going to do it. Whoops. whoops, whoops, whoops. Good stuff to Amadeus. Good stuff to Shady. He's probably still in there. I'm assuming that's winners. We're still pretty early. Yeah, I believe that is still. Uh, I was only having them pull from the winner's side. So oh, right on. Up next, uh, going to have someone who, you know, I, I haven't seen a whole lot since week one, the arm. Uh, you know, another transplant moved from Florida up here a couple weeks ago. Immediately positioned as one of our strongest uh, anime players overall. Just long time, fantastic Arxis game player. Uh, up next, and be coming against Jupiter. Uh, someone you'll be familiar with. They're a Skullgirls player. Yes, sir. Huge fan of the game. Yeah, real, uh, you know, kind of out of nowhere. Just a pillar of the community. Yeah. Like, she just kind of showed up and uh, loved uh, the game. And then... Notably for me, uh, one more once last year. I mean, that was a very big pop bonus that we raised via Maturino. A huge portion of that came straight out of Jupiter's pocket, yep. throwing down a lot of money to yep. support the Skullgirls scene. Yeah, I know. She's, she's great. I don't... I have no idea who she plays. Uh, I know she plays uh, Fortune and... I don't remember any Skullgirls, but we're going to see her in Strive right now. Not exactly the easiest opponent in front yep. of her, though. <laughs> I mean, Ar Arm had a buy, so Jupiter definitely won a match to get here. Oh, uh, absolutely. So, so they're going to have some familiarity, but when you win your first match and your reward is you got to play probably the best person in your pool, and he was. He was the number yep. one seed in the pool. You got to, hey, what are you here for, you know? You here you to win against somebody or you here to win against everybody? For me, though, everybody? I want that match first game before they get a chance to warm up. I want to catch them cold. Yes. I want to catch them yawning. Yo, it is Night of the Geos and my color. Let's go, Jupiter. But bad start already. Yeah. yeah. yeah burst out of there. Get, get that situation out. And it's Rambothal. I mean, fortunate that Jupiter found a spot where the burst would connect, but right back in the same situation. It's, didn't wait out the sword toss. Yeah. You know, I'm not the most knowledgeable in this game, but I do play Geo, and this match is really tough, I feel like. Yeah, Jupiter trying to get their bearings here. All right, in there. Out. Those air-to-air -air normals, you just can't even rely on air movement to get in because she, her uh, Ram's control is just ridiculous. Almost a nice confirm. Yeah, That's Ram, pretty cool that right there, that JH. Yeah. Uh, the best advice that I've been given is rather than worrying about anti-air, just get out of the way. Don't yep. be there. Get out of the way. Ooh, Oof. and the dump. Yeah. I mean, Geo might be able to dash under, too, depending on it. But it's all reads, you know? It's tough. It's real tough. Well, let's go, Jupiter. No character select, no color select. We know what we want. Yeah, I don't know what their, their RAM experience has been like to this point, but this is definitely a matter of, like, you hate to give out the, the, the old man advice of the don't get hit, right? But sometimes that's the answer. You just, you just got to be away from the corner. You got to not run into accidental swords. I... Yeah, I mean, like, it's, it's tough. There's a splat, the bonk. Armando doesn't have meter, but does have positive bonus, so will have it. Doesn't even, yeah, get to that point. 
I was looking for him to start fishing with that 6H. He really likes to do that when he has meter. Yeah, I mean, they could try 6P. They could try, like, dash up DP to get under stuff. That can work sometimes, but it's all, like I said, it's all reads. And you got to make the right one at the right time. Ooh, a little too high. Easy really low there. air grab. Yeah, that's definitely a Guilty Gear player air grab, right? Super low to the ground. Is that it? Oh, that's super impressive. Nice. Jupiter. Slash. Arm moves on. Yeah, Jupiter not out yet. That is a winner's side match, so still alive in the loser's bracket. I forget how well Arm did last week. Ramlethal. I only wins. remember Grand Finals. Because mm -hmm. I was wandering around drinking a little too much. That does happen in a venue with the bar. Uh, <laughs> coming up next, looks like we have Nobody EXE stepping back up. Nobody EXE against Cosmics Washed. Cosmics, Cosmics Washed. All right. Will he wash the Cosmic, the Cosmos? Or will Nobody EXE read the stars in the sky and grab them with the temple? How's my uh, metaphorical commentary? Chat, let me know. It's a, it's a poetry slam, I think. You know, it's been a while. That's all. I've been talking to myself for the past year and a half, watching. Yeah, I feel games, fortunate you know, that like... I have, in fact, <laughs> I, yeah. ha I have, in fact, yeah, yeah, been yeah, yeah, able yeah. to practice commentary <laughs> regularly. Yeah. I remember how it all works. I am getting used to it. I did invest in some new equipment uh, for, for the locals. Nice. Uh, so trying to keep we'll things. Uh, the big thing to me, I got a new mixer so that I can continue to do the closed Jeez. captions. I know Ooh. I had been doing that with the home streams. I wanted to make sure that I was still able nice. to provide that uh, on the that's Ignite sweet. stream. Yeah. So. Nice. But the downside is if you hear anything wild on the audio, that's because this is the first time I've ever used this mixer at an event, so still getting used to it. Do We're just getting some old-fashioned distortion. Let's we just need to bring back the old... Yeah, just get, get a boss pedal hooked up to all the mics. I'm, I'm no, for it. I, I kind of want to bring back the old uh, streaming thing when, like, instead of having compressors, the audio would just cut out. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't know what this does when it clips. I, ha I haven't experienced it yet. It definitely does not have compression on board, which I'm used to having, so we'll see what happens. I feel like I need to, to you know... Ooh. Take this somewhere, maybe maybe hook up my friend Hellpockets, the original reason I bought a mixer Ooh. with compressors. Well, while we were talking, yeah, nobody Yeah, Pop Buster, this is gonna be, yeah, weighted. Nice burst. Yeah, and that, that was a nice game of chicken for Cosmics there. Now is that burst worth it? He's gonna have to work for it. Nice back dash, nothing out of it. If he can get nobody's burst out here, then it'll definitely be worth he's, it, he's but. Not gonna give it to him. He's not gonna give it to Back Mega Fist, good block by Cosmics. He'd rather, he'd rather take the loss. That's my guess. I think you're right. At this point, it would uh, woo, it would objectively be a bad burst at that point, but able to find what is that? Far slash? That's far slash. Nice. Good that cash has always been a good one. I don't know what that normal is supposed to look like as far as like like cool punches like that, but here we are. Cosmo yep. doing a really good job of working around the, the yes. slide head there. No, great movement. Staying unpredictable. Yeah, Slyhead you can block, but it is zero on block. You don't want to give Potemkin the option of a hard knockdown that he maintains the turn after. It's hit by the meaty. Nobody up one. Cosmic still in there. Yeah, I like what I've been seeing on him. I mean, yeah. very clearly has some Potemkin experience. Yep. Uh, has is doing a good job of navigating. Uh, around as Chip, it's just, you know, as Chip, it is, he, he's a glass cannon in a way that matters, right? Not like Akuma, not like 25 health. This character will melt if he messes up. Finds the gold burst, though, a lot of resources to work with here. Oh, I think that was supposed to be a different RC. Got a... Oh, that's what he was looking for. Okay, it was an instant overhead into R RC. It's just nobody actually blocked the first one. Oh, nice check. Nice PRC, getting out of the punish. Good check with the 2L here. 2P, I'm sorry, I'm a grand blue player. That it. Wall Can break? he finish in the yeah. splat? DP? Oh no, goes back in the air, but either way, it's enough. Very nice. All right, Cosmic. You got it. Nice. Yeah. Finds the JD, coming in. 
Ooh. Yeah, it was air block though, so that's safe. I mean, that's that's a big adjustment compared not just the previous Guilty Gear, but... How about a big oh, adjustment to your fucking health? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Garuda again? Oh no, yeah, Garuda into BRC. So, the the that does reduce the mix-up of the grab. The grab is taken out of the situation yep, because you are on block stun, but now he is in your face for the high-low. Yeah, and there's pretty much nothing to do about it. Oh, you blocked? That's fun. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my. And that's the Garuda mix. It, it is just a billion. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. Wow. Oh. oh. I love, I love those moments when the crowd, the crowd doesn't scream. Everybody like, ooh, all at the same moment is wonderful. What a what a time to be alive, everybody. I got grabbed. Did you get grabbed? I got Everyone grabbed. in the building got grabbed. <laughs> Everyone in the CTA station across the street yeah, got grabbed. That is, uh, that is a reasonably large yikes from me. <laughs> ooh. That's Potemkin, baby. Hell yeah. You know, Hell I, yeah, I don't like this trend of Arxis making good grapplers. <laughs> <laughs> they seem very intent on releasing grapplers hey, at man. launch that are competent characters. I miss Tager getting bullied. I, I want to go back to those days. I don't want these Lodivas, these Potemkins. Before that, these though, Potemkins. A Accent Core Potemkin was brutal. You know, Accent... Core Potemkin though, he's not a grappler, he's he's an unblockable machine, right? That's like true, that's yeah. that's Yeah, oh did you eat this unblockable half screen? Oh I get a full combo into Oki because it's my game. All Luckily right. we're not playing that kind of game, but he gets uh, some some sort of bullshit. Alright, gonna have Razzle Fazzle uh coming up against Moo, coming up against uh our own resident Street Fighter Five player. Razzle Fazzle, so many new names, I love it. Frazzle, there, Frazzle. there's a double R, yes. Got to put a respect oh, on the second man. R. Man, this this name is a handful to type. Okay, I, I got it got in there. It. Razzle, I think Frazzle. You got it. Razzle, Frazzle. Not Razzle Dazzle, ladies and gentlemen. He's here to Frazzle you after he Razzles you. Where is Moo? I don't see him. You know, the Street Fighter players, they're. they're you know, they play a slower paced game. They're a slower paced, uh, you know, player to get to the bracket. It's, it is what it is. While we're waiting, uh, you can hit exclamation point Macharino. The boys over at Low Kick did set up a Macharino to support our players tonight. Hit that in the chat. There is the new claim coupon code. Shout out to our partners at Macharino. Hell you don't yeah. even have to enter a coupon Ooh. anymore. You don't have to enter the code manually. No uh, they just give you a button to boop to add 50 cents into the pot for free. Uh, yeah, get in the split there. How so. could you not do this, chat? It's a button. How many buttons have you pressed today, willy nilly, yeah, that have done nothing for you? Shout outs to the boys, Sarvets, in the chat, the Minnesota friends. Press that button. What's up, Sar? Love you. I just uh, I just took a, a short weekend trip a couple weeks ago. Uh, we went out to visit uh, Rick, uh, combo oh, nice. breaker Rick and his yeah. wife. Uh, mo most importantly, hit up D Spot, the the best chicken wings I've ever had anywhere. Yeah. Suni Lee wins gold in the Olympics. Where do they go to celebrate? D Spot. Hell Let's yeah. go. They know what's up. Hell yeah. All right. Hope everyone's enjoying. Uh, you know, this is like. This is real. We're playing games with people. It's we were, real. We were warming up with Grand Blue, and I saw a button whiffed, and I was like, oh, he whiffed a button. I win. There's no I two frames. This. There's, there's no, no two frames. There's, I no, just, there's no rollback. There's no delay. We're right here in person, right next to each other, having fun whiffing buttons. Yeah, also excited to see the level of Guilty Gear play that we're seeing from all sorts of sources, all the games coming together. And we've seen, you know, the players like Macho coming from Marvel, coming from yep. Uni doing yep. really well. We've seen the traditional Guilty Gear players. We just saw, you know, Arm doing really well. The more general anime players, nobody EXE. Uh, you know, Chris Chaos putting up numbers earlier with the chip. Like we've yep. got, it's such a nice mix right now of our longtime strong Guilty Gear players, but also people coming from other games and not just coming in trying it, but being strong yep. early on. I and mean, we had, uh, you know, all over the Midwest, our buddy Trey came through to the White Food Dome, took second his first week out, you know, coming over from Street Fighter. That's the type of stuff I like to see. So, uh, we'll see. meanwhile, 
Let's see if we can get Mu. He might be wrapped up in a... Uh... Oh, they found him. They found they him. They found Mu <laughs> at the bar. Like Who would go just drink? Because there's a bar Ugh. at a local Fighting with your friends players. that you haven't seen in 18 months. It's deplorable. Unbelievable. He's just DQ him right now. Razzle's been... The, the important part asleep over here. about seeing this high level of play that we are seeing out of our players, we maybe have broken through that Chicago issue where we used to have, right? Where players from other scenes were objectively stronger in New York, in the West Coast, yep. but we were better friends. <laughs> Why? Because we had a bar at our local yeah. and we got drunk all the fucking time. And then I'm I got invited could, to baby showers. I'm glad we could keep up the you tradition of Bar plus local. Yes, but we're playing better now. It's true. But we're still friends. So who won in the end? Maybe still New York. Maybe. But we'll find out when the region, you know, when the big tournaments come around. Championships yeah. <laughs> are that moment. Friendship is forever, you know? That's what I say every time I lose. I look my opponent in the eye and say, you know what? I got, I got friends to talk to. See you later. Yeah, I'm going to a baby That's shower. Right. Get out of my face. <laughs> I got a, shower, a baby to shower. <laughs> Anyways. We got Moo playing Axel. Yeah. Razzle playing Leo. And this is interesting to me because Moo, uh, you know, originally in Street Fighter V, a Vega player, uh, had transitioned to playing a lot of Shotos re more recently. Okay. And Axel, I mean, I, I don't know what it is. I, I didn't really ask him what drew him to Axel. Dual I have played one. him a few times. Uh, but th there's that, you know, you never know what someone's going to pick in a new game. Oh, wow. Razzle, Razzle coming in. First, first the command dash mix into Oops. the charge 5 p Mix up start and burst once the corner goes in. Yeah, I am a, a I, I also am a supporter of immediately bursting Leo <laughs> if he touches you. Yes. Okay. Good check with the 5k though. Moo holding his ground. Starting to get some mix up going, but again, the cross ups. You can see he's starting to find the timing right. He got the trade there. He hasn't quite found like the grab. What? Hitboxes, baby. Guilty gear just happened on my channel. Yeah, that cross-up's always got weird interactions. All right, now he's going to have the space, but it gets interrupted immediately. Razzle's also doing a really good job, though, of navigating the chains, not getting clipped in the air. That is, you have to be careful approaching Axel from this guy because even if you block, the yeah, additional not, block stun you're not and the risk crank yeah. makes it really dangerous. Oh, and, and, and you're still just knocked back to the other side of the screen. you got to start all over anyway. So. Yeah. Moo went for the command grab. Razzle took to the air, was able to find the knockdown. Going into back turn here. Yeah, there's no real control of that cross up from Moo. He's going to really need to get deal with that before he does better in this match. Oh, big counter hit. No burst. All right, got the pressure. No flash kick out. Oh, not enough though. What's he going to do? With it? Nice. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right, move. And has his burst. Really good situation for Moo right now. Nice. I, I like the jump back, air to air, right? Trying to hold down the position in front of him without committing to too much. Speaking of committing to too much, but not the biggest punish. Still good. I'm not the biggest fan of Moo just running in at all opportunity, but here we go. Run up dust. Hey, you know, nine. sometimes if you just rush someone down with Axel, you find a full charge dust for 40%. Very good damage. Yeah, YRC, it was in the air, so it's not going to get really get the frame advantage, but able to turn it into a hit, but under duress here still. That's what I'm talking about. You block that, and you're, yeah. you're minus a good amount. Builds a lot of risk. Well, I think I was reading, similar to like where you FD to fall a little bit faster. You can FD that in the air, you'll fall a little bit faster, and you're not in as bad a situation. But it doesn't matter. Razzle just can't get away from the axle wall and moves up one Immediate rematch. No thinking here. Now Moo is content to keep his face. Oh, just was crouching. He had actually recovered there, but just wasn't standing up to block. Razzle getting a little nutso right now. Needs to slow it down if he wants to take control of this match. Lost yeah, I mean, that, that's a lot of the actual matchup, right? Is like fighting your instincts yes. to overextend to get in. Sometimes if you have the lead, you don't have to get in on Axel. Awesome. Since when? Yes. 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 
real tough. I'd love for Razzle just to slow it down. There's no reason for you to press the advantage. You might as well just like chill and try to get as much of your burst back before you lose. Yeah. Like, or take their burst. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, this this is a, a winning pixel, right? He got command grab, but you know what? He was able to get the yeah. burst out. If he can take this round, especially if he can do it quickly before that burst is back, this is a good situation. Absolutely. Going to run into the anti air, though. That's a bad start. And the command grab. Yeah, stuff going downhill pretty quickly. Again in his head. Oh, no big damage, was, but Yeah, still. able to get the splat because of the uh, the prior hits, but that was an expensive RC. Is going to get the positive bonus here to regain some of that meter. Okay. Oh, bait. Doesn't touch it, but yeah, that was mostly burst safe. Razzle just couldn't get through the wall. Yeah, Moo going to take that 2-0. Good stuff to him. All right, we're moving through. Are, is this all round two winners, I think? I think or this might actually be uh, round three winners. Sweet. Yeah, so up next, I believe we're going to have Mars coming up against Jaime. Uh, again, you know, a crossover. Mars Ooh. coming from Undernight, coming from Grand Blue. I hope. Jaime uh, coming from Tekken, yeah, coming right. from Street Fighter, for from real. Marvel. You know, a lot, of, a lot of varied backgrounds. And just two very good players, two solid players in our scene. So yep. it's nice to see them coming through. And Mars was playing some gold deck. So hopefully we see it. You know, I, th I think we're going to see the Potemkin. I don't know if he's he's going to consider the, the Gold Deck, you know, tournament ready. But I'll be excited if not. I, I actually played my first matches against that character this afternoon. I was able to get some sets in. Uh, he's a weird character, weird. man. He's He's got... You know, a lot of a lot of guard crushes that force you to hold the mix up, and yep. then that mix up, if you're wrong, is bonkers damage. But he also doesn't have a, a grounded dash, right? He doesn't have a double jump. He's just He's limited. Yeah, very He's limited, limited in mobility in a game where mobility is incredibly important. So Mars giving us the good. Yeah, luck Mars wave. with four times as much hair as the last time that I saw him. Well, that's what happens, you know. You people either lost weight or grew hair. Yep. Uh, and the people that did both, I have no idea who they are anymore. I uh, I actually uh, I learned to cut my own hair out nice. of necessity. Nice. Uh, I, I I wouldn't say that I've done a great job, but it's <laughs> if you don't look at the back, I stay the camera facing this way. You know, it's okay. We did a job. Yeah, I did a job. I I will agree with that sentiment. All right, looks like Noah's up for his match here. Kizzer Crate gonna come step back down. Oh, hold on. I think he was just grabbing a beer. If you guys want to swap, if you want to get back in. The ever, See you later, Chad. ever important beer drink. You dare to enter the mayhem. All right. Back in the business. How's your pool going so far? I made Our it out. Pool. We're in the same pool. Yes, we are. I made it out uh, in winter side. I believe the pools go down to top 16. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, looks like I'll have to play Shiken to try to get out on the other side. Oh, that's going to be a classic. Oh, soul he plays Soul. Uh, oh, you'll be fine. You know, I might be okay. I'm starting to get the ideas of, you know, it used to be you ask yourself, how do I fuck with that button? And now I'm starting to get to the point of like, oh, I just don't fuck with that button. Okay, six, you, success? I just let him push success. Like, usually the, the answers are in Guilty Gear. Usually it's either don't be there in the first place or just deal with whatever comes next. Like yep. some things are just going to happen. All right, so. Speaking of soul. And Mars is on, I'm assuming that's Mars on Gold Lewis, right? Yeah. Yeah, it has to be. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Ah. All right, here we go. And the Behemoth Typhoon starts already. I think we lost game audio for a second. I'm working on that one. Already. Ooh, good backdash. Base the burst. Jaime is going to catch this out. Spins the 50 to ensure. Oh, doesn't get the wall break, though. Uh, good awareness and side switch by, uh, by Mars here. Going to crank this out. Here's the wall break. If there's one thing Golos isn't short on, it's damage for sure. All right. 
High May pushing him back to the corner again. Starting the soul pressure. Good YRC by Mars. Starts to poke out. Doesn't quite get the 2D to connect. More pressure from High May. More pressure. Big counter hit and goes low. Mars with the first round here. Really back and forth between these two. We'll see how the adjustments continue to get made. Oh, gets punished for the run up. Does. Good throw by Mars. Big counter hit. No burst. That's. That's five hits, and that's Half-Life. Yep. Nice. Oh, oh, no. Well, fun game. <laughs> and uh, that's game one to Mars. Looking very strong so far. In the time it took me to try to unplug one cable to see if I could fix the audio, that game was already over. <laughs> Guilty Gear Strive, y'all. <laughs> yeah, very explosive game. and I mean Big overhead. It, with first, oh Your mileage no. might, might vary on that, right? Like, I'm coming from Grand Blue for the most part. This is normal-ish damage. It's slightly higher damage. I, I, I like to think that this is Grand Blue except everybody's grand. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. You know, it's, that's something I've liked about it, though, right? So, like, I, I came wanting to play basically Catalina but as Kai. So Catalina with an air dash, and that's the play style I tried to take in, and mm -hmm. it's it works. The game allows you to do that. It does have, I know people were really worried that the flexibility of Guilty Gear was gonna be gone because of the restricted Gatlings, and to some extent, it is lessened a lot, you know, like that's noticeable. Yeah, somewhat. But it's there. Ooh. Mars staying solid on the defense and manages to take that round up to match point here, actually. Just running, yeah, hammering away with the far slash, yeah. plus on block. Jaime's doing really well getting started, but just can't find ways to close it out. Challenges the big overhead, excellent. Spins the RC, doesn't quite get the combo, gets thrown for his troubles. Staying solid. Jaime pushing towards the corner. One more will do it. There's the good throw. throw. Yeah. Coming back to life, Jaime here. We're on round three. What's the start? couple of trades here so far. Well, you can't trade with the Gatling gun from full screen. Minus two on the bandit. Continues its pressure. Gets a good far slash counter hit. Forces the burst. Here comes the drone. I know what happened to the audio. Mars plugged his uh, headphones oh. into the pad. Uh, I have to go turn that, that setting off. Sure. Uh, so, yeah. Basically, if they plug their headset into the pad, it steals the audio from the HDMI. That makes sense. <laughs> Close slash, far slash. I'll, let him, I'll let him know for his next game. Yeah, he'll have to deal with the monitor speakers that are there, unfortunately. Big DP with Ooh, BRC's there's back a dash. BRC, uh -oh. yeah, going to get the punish. Finishes it? Yes. And okay, I may back in it. That was an excellent use of the system mechanics. BRC back dash, or back dash BRC, I should say. Yeah. It's very, very powerful when it stops people from approaching. And keep in mind, that is like... You have multiple invuln options when you have 50 meter, right? Soul could have just, he could have just done Volcanic Viper and, uh, the first and one, look for the RC. He did, but the first one whiffed. So exactly. he's like, all right, I, should, you I cannot, should do something else. You cannot PRC a DP on whiff, right? You, right. Can't re uh, you, you obviously need a red one or a contact to do a red one. But if you whiff a DP in this game, you got to just hold the recovery. Oh, this is a big throw. Mars going to get the hard knockdown here. And the corner. YRC. Spins the burst. Uh, he can do it. Yeah, I mean, both characters He's have, low on resources, have the damage. Though. Soul, Soul still has 50 and burst, so that's... Yeah, and Mars actually just faultless away the last of his meter. Oh, boy. This might be a chip-out situation here, then. Yeah, he's actually spending everything he gets on faultless oh. immediately. Nice backdash. Hi, mate. Just avoiding the situation here. Let's, well, let's Mars get that drone set up, though. Yeah, that drone is sort of similar to uh, to Leo Fireball, right? Like, mm -hmm. once it's out, it does a very good job of holding on the neutral, but it is slow startup. It is counter hit uh, if you're able to get over it and get the punish. I honestly have not figured out the things that make it go away. Sometimes I'm able to do that. Sometimes I'm not, and I wasn't able to determine what was doing that. Yeah, week one, week one stuff. Yeah. We'll get it all ironed out over the next coming oh, weeks. Oh, ran up for the grab. Clutch jump by Mars to get out of the corner, but he is still <laughs> facing set point right here and down a good amount of health with a lot of meter on soul side. And oh, uh -oh. no, that, that is to. probably going to do it. I think he's going to build. Fi no, he didn't get the clean hit. Okay. Well, able to clean it up, though, with five, the 5K. 5K will... Uh, 5K will clean up any yeah. any sins and transgressions that you may leave on the table. Let me let Mars. Hey, next time if you play up here again, uh, don't plug your headphones into the pad. It takes the audio from the stream. Yeah. 
Every time you do that on PS4, it takes it away from the HDMI. It's okay, don't worry about it. I thought it, it, it will when you unplug. Yeah, we got sound back now. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we got sound back. It's okay. It's it's you know it's something we've learned. Like I I've, I've worked a million events with PS4s. It's yeah. something that I know exactly how it works. But you know you gotta you gotta get that underway. So oh crap. Oh, oh. Boy. all right. Well, good luck to you. Yeah, it looks like I gotta play Shiken next. Uh, you know the basics of how this stuff works. Pretty, pretty yeah. Okay. Just uh. All you, all you gotta know is match. Yep. And Play players. Fam. Yeah. Cool. That That's all it. I need. All right. Time to fly solo here for a little bit. Coming up next, lore battles that you've seen for the past 25 years. Soul versus Kai. In this game, it's a little bit different. Kai's got a lot of monster damage now. Oh, oh, we got help. Got it. There, there you there go. go. There you okay, go. There we're go. back. All right, what's up, stream? Got our got the arm with us. An yeah. actual professional here. Been a long Save time us. since I've commentated anything really. I yeah. haven't really been commentating online stuff either, so. Alrighty. Yeah. Look at Shaikin putting one delay on, on PS4 because he plays that's, on PS5. That's disgusting, bro. That's, like, that's one percent problems right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that really is. I have to play on extra delay because I spent five hundred dollars getting something that nobody else has. Come on, dog. <laughs> All right. All right, so Callisto Kai versus Soul. I mean, it seems like he has uh, some issues with this matchup, but I mean, Callisto be kind of he be he be living the struggle life sometimes in in the Discord. Some talking about some of the matchups. So let's see how he does. Oh, bad start. Oh, oh no. bad start. Oh, here we go. Okay, nice plus frames. Oh God, Callisto already down sixty percent life. It's the soul power. And you just can't take those. Like every time it's ten percent plus, like plus an insane amount of plusness. Okay. Oh, doesn't quite get the punish. That's actually kind of shocking. What on the? It, on did, the, it didn't punish. Yeah, he it just did, got hit. It it didn't. It didn't even hit. Oh, you're talking about on the stun edge. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. No, because because got the punish on the on the vault vortex, but it's kind of a weak punish. But all right, we we in there, corner. All right, Callisto running back. Yeah, this is... Whoa! Oh, what a back there. Yeah. All right. And I was just about to say this is Callisto's time to shine. He is very strong in the corner. Yeah. I mean, he got a little greedy there. But, uh, I mean, he wanted to... Just trying to use his advantage. Oh, no confirm? Oh, that's unfortunate. That's, oh, there oh, you go. big money. That's definitely big money. 2H counter hit is Kai's, like, one of his best starters. Nice. No confirm, though. Wow, Damn, again. again. I made it been, might have been worth running the meter just to like salvage that combo. All right. Callisto, that he's buffering. He's buffering RTL. Yeah, he, he's, he's definitely buffering. looking for RTL here. Okay. All right, takes the sun edge RC. Going no. to the wall. Nope, not quite. Nice. Dust. Oh, oh no, no, why? Not like this, Callisto. He okay. Oh, okay, spook burst. That's a real spook burst. Yeah, I was going to say he should be all right, but that's challenging uh, that 5K after Bandit. That's not... Uh, it's yeah. not where you want to be in life. I mean, All right, there you go. Kai's fastest button is, what, five frames? So he, he trades at best. Yeah. <laughs> but Callisto secures the round. It cost him a lot of resources, but he secured the round. Yeah, definitely did. I mean, his burst will probably come back as long as he doesn't get obliterated in this corner, which might just happen. Nice 6 Good challenge, yes. Whoa, a little far. Whoa, wild Callisto. I have to Fact. believe at least one of those was a stun edge. Oh, God, it hurts so bad. Oh, oh he went for it. no! It. Yeah, he did. Whoa, what? Miss punish, miss punish. Okay. Oh, he went for the big money. Wait, uh, Shaiken did? No, uh, Callisto went for the big five. Uh, oh, five oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. All right. He's got to play immaculately right now. He has burst. That's a counter hit. This is how it starts. He got hit. So he got hit. No dash hit. Oh, six S. Yeah, Callisto upset about that one. Both players looking a little shaky at the end there. 
So I have to ask as a fellow glasses person, do you get the glasses fog mid-match too? Absolutely. Oh, it's, that's, that's rough. That's like, that's like uh, the new age problems of, <laughs> of fighting games. It's okay. all right. We can still play. Yeah, yeah. All right. Callisto already near the corner, but he's kind of winning on life. Keeping his pressure. Ooh, good punish. Nice and slow right now. Nice dipper. Just just doing it with the 50. Can he get the, the break, though? Oh, it drops Not the quite. combo. you got to hit that. That's such a big hit. Oh! Shaiken is definitely leaning on that back dash in the corner. We'll see if Callisto picks up on it and adjusts. Yeah. Blow him up for it. Dangerous to do that that close, but especially against Soul with that 6H. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's only nine frames. That is. Oh, no. Okay. Still okay. Gets the burst out of Shaiken. Okay, has to burn the RC. Uh oh. Late confirm. It's low. Chip? Oh, nope. no. Goes low with the 2K. Calisto maybe trying to DP or something. Uh, he just gets hit. Shaiken moving on to match point here, but this is far from over. Yeah, it's been pretty close, but Shaiken just keeps closing him out. Callisto can't find. He either keeps like dropping something. Oh, God. Oh. This one not looking so close right now, though. Doesn't even get a punish oh, on the yep, jump. Here we go. This is our seed, of course. You're dead. Oh, he drops no. it. Oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, yeah, that's leaning, easy punish. Leaning on that throw a little too much. Yeah, you can't go for throws like that too yeah. often. All right. Well, Callisto cool, coming back. Look, made a couple of oopsies. All right, all right, all right. What do we got next here? I see Jinsoku sitting down. More, more soul action coming up. Looks like, oh. is that HB on the other side? Is that one acting up? Uh, I'm not uh, there we go. There we go. All right. Oh, you know what? Let me see it for a sec. That one uh, is a little goofy. Try to just twist the mic a little. Sometimes there's like a bad spot. Not yet. It's, it's going to be really quiet. Uh, I thought I had the one that was bad because I like know what to do with it. So I think you got the one. Basically, yeah, try to twist it towards your mouth. Bring it down a little and then twist it. Like bring the boom under your mouth and then kind of twist it back up. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. Give me just a minute. We'll, uh, we'll swap them. Here. Or hell. All right, all right, all right, all oh, right. Oh, nice. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Back in it's, business. It's the kind of thing where, like, because it's mine, I know where the spot is, right? <laughs> I know how those go. Yeah. All right. Eno versus Soul. I know that HB does have a fair amount of experience in this matchup, and she is very. Um, she's a little bit more focused on neutral than a lot more most Eno players that you'll run into. So she has a degree of control over the matchup that a lot of people have not experienced yet. And we'll see if she can put that to work. And I feel like if you've been playing Strive since it came out, you are significantly more likely to have a lot of soul experience than you are to have a lot of Eno experience. That uh, is a fact. Much more common character. Challenge is after the F-stroke. Good answer by Tsotsu. Yeah, Jinsoku, though, I mean, uh, really strong in BB Tag, pretty strong in uh, Central Fiction as well. He's definitely a Excellent player. Throw. He'll, he'll throw out some options that may be a little wild, but he is ready to convert them. He's not just throwing them out to throw stuff out, right? Like, he yeah. has a design for the options that he puts out there. Oh, and the wow. stroke, though. I think Jinsoku got caught trying to move at the round start, or, or after the, uh, the splat. Good jab to stop the... Uh 
They hover that pressure. Nice fake out. Uh, using, using the. Oh, uh, that's a good pickup though. Uh oh. Banner Breaker is the air stall there. Goes for the grab though. That's dangerous in the corner. There's a lot of recovery on that now. HP gets the side swap. Oh, it's party time. Yeah, and this is the scary part with Eno, right? It's the resets. It's the fact that the mix comes at you faster than it does for most characters. There's a throw. Here comes Megalomania. And also, this Oh, is wow. Good job. Yeah, that was a big job. She, she has an She invul was definitely about to do it. She has an invuln command grab super that will kill from that level of health. It does a solid 40%. Yes, for sure. But she doesn't need it. She did an excellent reversal fortissimo and got, got it done. HB giving us some love. Up one nothing here. She was here now, right? She moved to to. She Illinois? is in the area, yes. Awesome. So we'll be seeing a lot more of her, a lot more often in the uh, in the coming weeks here. Would the gold burst through the stroke? That's one option. Gonna have some meter to work with. Excellent backdash, and now souls back to the corner. Yeah, that backdash, even though it got clipped by the 2S, Jinsoku wasn't really ready for that to make contact like that, so it definitely worked for HP to get out. Oh! Wow, Vortex under the note. That's party time. Oh, no, this is the 6H show. <laughs> Big oh, okay. Hit. Uh, are you going to cover again for yes. a sec? They need me for my loser. All right, go for it. An excellent stroke to interrupt the Vortex. Goes towards the wall. Getting a lot of oh yep there it is V classic J D fortissimo. That's the thing about Eno once she gets you in a corner it's it's so rough you have to get so many times. And she's making excellent use of her throws here. Big reversal volcanic from Sofu here. Another punish off of the missed dive. Oh that's a big counter hit. Not quite getting a conversion off of it. HP gets first at all. Big dives. Kind of hit. First in return. Vortex under the note. That should wrap this up. RC. And Zinsoku ties it up in rounds here. Trying to stave off going into the loser's bracket for the moment. Wow. Excellent punish. So for establishing space with that gun flame. 5k punish. Gonna send Eno through the wall here. Yep. HV versus on the way back. We'll see if it gets back in time. Uh, no. And Soku ties it up. 1 1 here. Dual one. Here we go. All the marbles. And so he starts it off with the bringer. Early burst from HB. Big pressure time from Soul. Yeah, Insoku has started to. Oh no. Insoku started to dial it in with the. Uh, the idea of just covering massive swaths of space and neutral with his buttons. And with Eno being down on life, she has to force her way in, and that's opening her up to things like volcanic vipers all over the place. I see, wow, JD, that was smart. I wonder if he did a pick off of that. I'm sure he can somehow. Big Fortissimo gets on it. Soku now on match point. Bringer no good. Early knockdown for HP. Starts the pressure. Another knockdown. Going towards the corner. That stroke no good. Bringer connects. Goals for the big charge dust. No good. Gets the hop off with the H dive. DP for the trouble. HP spins for 50 to try and establish something. Ends up having to spin burst again. Gets false or vortex again for her trouble. This is going through the wall. One more chance for HP here. Jumps the throw. Yeah. Good punish on the double jump. Goes through the fortissimo. Soul with 50. Spins it on YRC. 
Back dash to 5 8. Oh, goes for the re hovering, gets Volcanic Viper. And Jinsoka takes that down 2 1. Close fight. That was. Ooh, that was a contest. And if I'm not mistaken, that was probably for top 16 winner's side. Uh, that was definitely a winner's bracket match, so HB not out of it yet. Going to be battling her way through losers for sure. Ooh, we've got ourselves a spicy one coming up next. On the right, we'll see last week's winner sitting down, DPS. Excellent, excellent, excellent player. Very smart. Going against Golden Mara. I am excited to see this match. So bad no. Okay, cool, there we go. Soul Axel. Uh if you've watched a lot of the um, the ICFC and a lot of ICFC and Wednesday night fights. You'll see this matchup a lot. Players are looking ready to go. And. Just personal opinion about how this matchup goes, just from the things that I've seen, is that and Axel, that I mean, Axel, society. if he gets hit, so he explodes. He has lower. He, he bleeds, we'll put it that way. He definitely bleeds, but it feels like he's got a pretty, pretty good shot at controlling a lot of Souls approaches in neutral. And especially, like I said, considering DPS actually won last week, then um, he will have excellent neutral control and be able to do such things. So let's see what the round start is. All right. To H. Rinson. Here we go. 5P to knock out the first bandit attempt. And this is this is this is how it starts. Soul gets in. 5P Rinson. And back to full screen. This is basically what Axel's gonna do. You just you stay over there and he's either gonna chip you out or he's just gonna blow you up for trying to approach through the air. Unless he gets bandit bringer and now Soul is in. Spins to 50. Our flash, and there's the counter, or excuse me, the command grab into the corner. That's something you definitely have to be aware of whenever Axel gets cornered. If he can find any way to get that command grab out and reverse the position, you are now in an extreme amount of trouble because he has the entire screen to back up and keep distance from you, and you still have to approach. Alright. Bandit bringing no good. Golden Mirror has to find a way to find a hit here. Gets counter hit by Far Slash again. Vortex and Desperation attempt and DPS closes this one out. Alright, I got cooked by Soul. Actually, it was 2 1. Cooked is a strong word. There we go. That's what I like to hear. Alright. Oh, instantly back to character select. Was that DPS taking game one? Yes. Okay. DPS, uh, actually, this is the first time DPS has played on my stream. If I remember correctly, DPS was the uh, super strong Dragon Ball player from Super Saturdays. That is back, correct. Back in the day at Raid. The one and the same. Yeah, yeah. I knew I recognized that name. I knew that we hadn't, like, met 
and that he hadn't played on my stream yet because mm -hmm. we just didn't have a lot of Dragon Ball going on, and he had particularly been out at Raid, not at, uh, at Ignite. Right. Uh, and I looked at the standings last week, and DPS took the first week, so clearly a strong player. Yes, he is one of the best. Like, he's... I don't know. I don't really have words to tell you how good he is, but... I remember, all I knew about it was somebody told me, I was like, yeah, who's who's doing good in Dragon Ball in Chicago? They're like, DPS. I was like, who else? They're like, nobody else. Just, <laughs> it's, it's DPS and then everyone else who signs up. <laughs> that's that's about how it went down every week. Yeah, using the Axel. Doing good job. Yeah, this matchup also looks just... Miserable. Yeah. I, they're, okay, so able to get the mine out. Axel maybe doesn't have the most reliable way to clear the mine once it's out, but good luck getting that thing on the screen. Just this, 5P, right? What else do you need? This is the match. 5P, 2H, Rinsen. And Cole Lewis does not have a double jump, if I recall correctly, correct? He does not have a double jump. He does have an air dash. Yeah, where's he going to go? Exactly. Into a chain, that's where. Yeah. He actually just has nowhere to go here. You know the worst part is that Goldie is a big body, but he's not necessarily a grappler. So I have to feel some guilt watching the Dulcim, you know, shenanigans. When it's a grappler, I'm like, this is fine. They don't deserve, you know, they don't deserve better than this. But just a regular big body. Yeah, this is, oh my God, you can't even jump over 5P. This yeah. is rough. No, I've definitely seen some Twitter clips about the interactions between 5P and Gold Lewis. And oh, they have. God. This is. Oh, no. Don't do that. Okay. A little bit of BM there. Oh, he forgot the how that super goes. works. Oh, yep. no. And that's the matchup. Yep. Uh, Axel wins. I don't know what else to say. I know what to say. I'm glad I'm out of this tournament because I don't want to fight that shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is, fair. This is optimal for me. I'm going to stay here at my desk where it's safe. <laughs> I believe that's going to put DPS into top 16 winner's side. Uh, looks like we're getting down to being very close. These are the qualifiers. Uh, we're going to have Chris Chaos. Um, no, no surprise that Chris is in this position, right? Uh, looking to qualify out in winners. Moo coming from Street Fighter, though, playing that Axel. Oh, really? Yeah, so this is this is what I like to see, right? The melting pot. This is what I'm here for. Dumb question. Does Moo play Sim? No, um, Moo is... Uh, that's what's weird. So he started with Vega okay. and then transitioned into playing several Shodos. Plays Kage, plays Ryu, play, you know, I haven't seen him play characters that weren't Vega that were not Shodos. So okay. he definitely went pretty heavy in Street Fighter V. So he's probably dabbled with a lot of characters. Mm -hmm. uh, but he, the Axel was definitely like out of left field, right? That, that, is, it, that is definitely a choice. Yeah, because uh, I call it Sim Brain, right? When you're playing that long limb zoning, especially characters like Axel who have a dead zone in the middle of those normals, yes. like it requires a, re a really particular way of thinking about space control, about not just thinking about I'm going to push my, my medium kick and it takes up this space. Right. It's about putting out an attack that's just here. And it's not here. It's just right here. And I think he's going to jump here. So I'll put it there. And it's just uh, a very different skill set. All right, Chris sitting down here. On the player two side, looks like Moo taking the player one side here. Okay. Player one side, more important for me, for the song choice. I'm very... It doesn't <laughs> You've seen matter, it. right? No, I think or that... Uh, in versus mode, either player can press start and... Oh, can they? Yeah. I thought it was just automatically player one. No, you uh, can, either player can press start and then... Um, switch the stage you, you witnessed probably my favorite conversation that i've had with a local on discord when when flower man oh. was like give me player one i was like what song do you main, <laughs> <laughs> what song do you main? <laughs> and we we were able to negotiate down to milia theme i'm gonna pick milia theme if i have the choice mm -hmm. maybe ramlethal theme uh the good news is nobody who has sat down since me noticed that it's on milia Jesus. theme so that's gonna stay there that is hilarious <laughs> out of uh out of morbid curiosity how many songs have you fished up I'm missing about 24 songs, I believe I have left, okay. um, which means I fished up a massive amount of songs because the first time I checked, I was missing like 70. Oh, wow. Uh, so yeah, there's there's a large number of songs in this game. Um, a large number of the old songs uh, need to have their volume adjusted. Holy Orders at, at yes. half volume isn't really doing it for me, but it's cool to know that they're in the game. 
excellent punish. Uh, Chris Chaos on the chip, which uh, if you've seen him for his answer play in Rev 2, uh, you will definitely think this is a bit of a change for him, but he's also been a chip player well, yeah, he, he, before he, time. He played chip before answer came out, correct? Correct. Yeah. I, I think Chris's rules are generally, you know, he, he doesn't play like a certain archetype, but uh, if, if you give him an ninja to play, he's gonna look into it, right? Yeah, so. Why not? They're cool. Take it from me, the nearly 40-year-old Naruto stand. Like, <laughs> you know what's pretty fucking cool? Ninjutsu. It's pretty fucking cool. Ooh, big far slash counter hit yeah, to start the, the round. I don't know if they, uh, that was a burst look. Or that's a punish. There's the burst. Yeah. I, I will say that I do know that uh, Chris has actually specifically practiced this matchup as of like it was either last night or two what nights ago. That? Oh, yeah, that's his uh, new wall run, or not new wall run, but that's that's why Chip is sick in this game, because he can just do actual wall run ninja combos. <laughs> I haven't seen that before. It's, that was ridiculous. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm assuming you had mentioned he had gotten some... Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and assume he's played Gekio at the least in this matchup. Um, it wasn't Gekio. He was, he was playing a uh, an excellent Texas... Uh, Houston player, I believe, by the name of a Silent Assassin. Oh, yeah, Silent, yeah. for sure. Yeah, definitely. Uh, someone who's definitely been out to multiple Frosty Bossings. Yes. Uh, we've seen them playing in the extra days a lot. So they, they got in a long set, so Chris is over prepared for this, yeah. probably. Ooh, and it wall stuff? Hello. Yeah, it, it, it's something to be used to, right? Because the wall health counts even yep, mid-screen. The wall house is based on the combo you're doing, not the wall hits. Even though visually it looks like it's the wall hit, if you do enough hits that would splat the wall and your last hit makes contact with the wall, that will splat. Yeah. Flash bar splat. All right, who's starting to pick Whoa. it up here? Oh, no, big with DP, but one with the 5P and actually chips one underneath it. Wall breaks. Right. Getting that alpha blade in for extra damage on the splat. Oh, move just pushing buttons on the splat. Ooh, oh, this big, is a big money. Bait. Yeah. Chris first immediately. Yeah, and that is something when you're playing someone who's not coming from a Guilty Gear background, right? Mu wasn't really thinking oh, to do a, a, a close slash into a jump cancel there, right? It's mm -hmm. not quite ingrained to look for that burst of the jump. Because your limits for baiting bursts, uh, your, your options are way more limited than they used to be. That is true. Because there's just less jump cancelable stuff in general. There's a command grab. Gonna yep, get a jump cancel here. The Right. I like uh, I like the way Moose using the OTGs to keep the pressure Ooh. coming consistently. This big is, damage. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah. And Moose takes it back here. Just taking an adjustment period to see what Chris was doing, and he landed a couple of gigantic counter hits and made Chris pay for it. Yeah, it, and you had mentioned that Chris did play a long set with Silent there, but sometimes that can work against you, right? When someone new is coming in, and you have to get a feel for how they play. Yeah, and how it, they use their tools. Yeah, and especially with Chip's limited health pool, right? You don't get a whole lot of time to feel that out in the first two. Back nice back to the leap grab, oh, and wow, and he threw away the meter on the BRC. That was very expensive for Chris. Back to the uh, command grab, though. <laughs> Chris not cracking yet. He he is not one to fold under pressure. Oh, yeah, big big I don't this know if he can kill, but it will break for sure. Uh, this is my this kill, kill with the super. I didn't see the meter. And? No, not quite. It's Ooh, close. Wow, in a lot of meters. Get the Oki set up. Spencer YRC finds the Just jump away. Not quite enough. Next hit kills. Yeah, Moo's gonna have to think about chip, but the J2K caught him off guard here. Okay. I was wondering if 2S was gonna come out there. I, I would think that 2S is a pretty good answer to the J2K, which is a button that a lot of characters have trouble dealing with consistently. 2S2H, Gamma, Goldbird. Yeah, fortunate that came out as gold. He had recovered, so gonna get right. a lot of resources, but he might not have the space to use it. Chris gonna spend meter to get the splash. Positive bonus in effect, but. You don't get the same frame advantage. That's why it's so important to spend your supers if you have it available on the wall break. You're plus 36 after the wall break if you break with a super. Break it again? Wow, that, well, that yeah. was a kill. And that's going to do it. Good stuff. 
Chris looking solid. Moose still alive in winners. Going to try to qualify out of the pool on the winner's side. That is going to send Chris to the winner's side of top 16. Uh, we'll get a look at what we have going on in that bracket here in a moment. I would also like to remind you, you can hit exclamation point Matcherino in the chat if you would like to support the Chicago players here. Uh, you know we'll you want set to. up a Matcherino. Thanks to the new Matcherino over, uh, you know, overhaul that they did, you just got to boop a button too. Yeah, you push. it's really nice. You Please go check that Not out. Not that typing in like an eight eight character coupon code was a lot of work, people. You know, yeah. uh, but they they made it even easier. Always supporting the community and looking forward to working with them. You know, as we get back to offline. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Message it is out of date. Please refresh the page and try oh, it. Oh, yeah, because somebody qualified there. Oh, so that's, that's Chris, yeah, Chris's why. spot. Okay, cool. Smash GG, not wilding out too hard. Going to get our stream queue set up here. This is, uh, it, it's new to do this on the fly here, right? As opposed to just like at home. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. No, no, no. Go ahead and keep it. I'm marking him now. Just keep him coming. We're going to jump right into it. Yeah, we're going to show that winner side of top 16. Uh, these are all going to be top eight qualifiers. And I see some bangers. And look at, oh, my God. This is what I want to say. Look at the genres represented, right? We mm -hmm. have the arm coming up. You know, long time long Arxis time. player. Anime coming up against yes. Aime, a Marvel slash Tekken player. Uh, Jinsoku. Jinsoku, another Arxis player, Blaze Blue player, mm -hmm. coming up against King of Bums, an SNK player, historic, yeah. one of our, our favorite KOF players. Mm -hmm. Shiken against you. Yep. That's, that's I think that's that's the first matchup where the two of you at least came from similar games. Yep. Like we we used to play Chimeras all the time in Exit. That was fun. And then DPS against Chris Chaos to round us out. Uh, that that's for sure a match I'm looking forward to. But up first, the players sitting yeah. down, Jaime and the arm. Ooh, this is going to be... Yeah, I'm excited for this. This is going to be a barn burner. And this is the thing where, like, the arm is not going to get surprised by Soul at this point, but Jaime's just a good fundamental player in the games that he plays. He's just very solid, pretty patient and neutral. He generally has good execution. Yes. I mean, in Tekken, you see him hitting the triple electric combos all the time. Got the young man hand still. Yeah, should be Soul and Ramlethal. It's going to be a hard-hitting contest. Blinking, you'll probably miss it. I'm not going to lie to you one way or the other. We're jumping right into it. Yeah, both of these characters are very explosive. And probably most importantly, both of them have phenomenal corner carry. If you get yes. hit by a stray button in midstream, mid you are going to the corner. Dual one. Let's rock. Oops. Classic double jump into JH, that's the old Ramble Fall special. Yep. Because that button is very difficult to deal with if you don't know how. Yes, that that's a very good point. If you playing someone that you know is not oh coming from a guilty gear background, I feel like the first thing you do with them is JH because that is a normal you you've told me how to deal with it like four times. I still barely <laughs> have conceptualized it in my head. Okay. Jaime does oh have some matchup knowledge. You can see there, he tried to micro dash into barrier. Oh, Nope. There's the Jays jumping over the gut. Six, eight, and the wall bounce, yeah. and more to Bato. And that's the big thing the consistency of Ramlethal conversions. In these small oh my stages. God. Now you can tell me, like, uh, you would have a better feel of it. Are these stages smaller than Exert? Because they feel very small. You know? Was that a double perfect? Yes. Ooh. I mean, I'll get back to your, your question in a second, but just about the double perfects. Like, that's just guilty here. A lot of people yes. get upset when, you know, oh, no, I got perfect it. That means I did X, Y, and Z wrong, and I, I'm a terrible player. Like, no, that's... But against Ramlethal, that means you got hit four times total. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> you just die. Like, she hits you once, you go to the corner. She hits you again, she spins 50 meter, and... Now you gotta guess. And if you're newer to fighting games, it's important to internalize the idea that there's no bonus points for a perfect, right? Yes. 
Maybe there should be. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> Ooh, the PRC to slow down the normal. Put the JH. I got a counter hit too. But Jaime getting some damage on the board, getting some hits. Starting to navigate a little bit better in the neutral. And the thing about it is, I mean, remember, this is still Soul. If Soul gets a clean hit, it's party time in the other direction. As someone who went one and two to two Souls, uh, I'm uh, acutely aware of what happens when you okay. make a little oopsie. Oh, six nice feet. Entire. Wait for the burst. Two more hits. Okay. Or you can just get six feet out of the sky. Using the success. Good option at that space. Burst. I may running out of resources. Does have meter. Good patience One, two, here. Three, he spends the records. Yeah, he has to. I oh, believe those are yep. all punishable, especially with that three farm five K. But yeah, they are. But Arm had a hundred meters stocked up, so there there was no other way that was going to end except in RC. All right, so that's going to qualify the Arm into the winner's side at top eight. Our first qualifier here. Coming up next, I believe Wins. we're going to have Jinsoku and King of Bums. That's going to be Soul Sato. I mean, Jinsoku definitely plays Soul. Um, I spoke to him before. Well, he actually played on stream as well, but yeah, I confirmed he's still playing Soul. Uh, I'm pretty sure King of Bones is still on Zato. He's he's been playing Zato as long as I've known him. So I would expect nothing less at this point. Mm -hmm. But then again, it is Strive. So uh, yeah, you know, so sit next to someone. <laughs> so, sometimes you don't like the way your character feels in a new version, right? That so, is true. Uh, you know, the no notably, somehow I'm the Kai player at this table. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm still playing Kai. My Kai just happens to have two fans. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, uh, I, I like that though. That uh, I do feel like as much as as much as like the the restricted Gatlings and everything. I think initially that first flavor, mm -hmm. a lot of gear players weren't feeling it. But I yeah. noticed that legacy gear players, the more they play this game, the more they're like, this game's pretty damn fun, uh, and they're coming around on it. And more importantly, they're they're doing well at it. Legacy gear knowledge does go a, no a long way in this game. It goes so. I like basically. I'm, 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 really grateful. I spent six years of my life dunking myself into Xrd because. Yeah, you know what the difference that knowing how to fight Leo makes? Yes. <laughs> just that, just having a concept of what Leo does. It's all. It's all been a, a boon in helping uh, pick up the game faster, especially you know switching to a new character. Yeah. So. All right, players getting set up here. We haven't had any pad players on the station, I don't think. Only Mars. So Only I Mars. haven't I haven't actually checked to police uh, if people are desyncing their pads. It's those types of things you got to remember to set your buttons before the match, right? Stuff we haven't done in a really long time. So bad guy. Zato. Yep, there's the Zato yep. pick from As King expected. of Bones. There's the fist bump, and here we go. Again, top eight qualifier. I see my boy Redman in the chat. Thanks for the sub, buddy. Also, hope I get to see you here pretty soon. Duel one. Let's rock. You know, I'm, I'm getting used to I change where the buttons are, and I keep hitting the wrong one at the oh. start of the match. <laughs> Mine's a grab. Yeah, Jinsoku's That's the number one way of dealing with a pose. Just yes. grab that though. Oh yeah. my god. You definitely gotta look, you gotta learn the animation of a pose, and if you see it and you're at kind of mid-range, just run up and snatch him. And there's actually a lot of recovery on the move. It's very good, but you can see that the strategy has already uh -oh. changed. Well, that's a big starter. Ran out of enemy meters yeah. though. And the frog hit high, so. It yeah, could have been worse. It was an awkward pickup. Normally, counter hit 2H is Zato's, like, oh, no, you fucked up button. Yeah. Speaking of 5K, three frames into that. That was for a three-frame light. 45%. I don't think there was any risk on the board. <laughs> In fairness, Zato is also a character yes, that is... Yes, he's squishy. He is extremely yes, squishy. Yes, very low guts. I believe his base health is not, like, abnormally low compared to most, but he does have uh, a near the lowest guts, I believe. Definitely a character. There's times oh, where God. there's times where I think I'm losing a round, and then I touch him. I'm like, wait, where'd Zato go? I won. Yeah, that's gonna happen a lot. Oh, nice 5K. Doesn't even need the auto correct. 
YRC. Nope. <laughs> That's what you call going for all yeah, the bosses. Yeah, that was scary. Expecting him to block after the YRC. King of Bums definitely fell Ooh, down. Ooh, big counter hit. Execution? Not quite. Well, he's got full Eddie meters, yeah. so he doesn't really need his VRC. It on the <gasps> Good block on the dust. Going to get the punish here. He has positive. He's on full meter again. Yeah, it's going to be RC. Like to see maybe throwing Amorphous or something out to kill time. Spins it on the Ooh, VRC. Oh, finds the counter hit. King of Bones on the board here. 2S is a button that if you look at the hitboxes for it, you're going to be like, that normal's whack. But the button does its job. It does its job very, very well. I dare say it's better than it looks. Certainly feels like that when you try to counter puck it. Yep. Ooh, not close enough for the grab there, though. Finally able to get the grab for the corner positioning. Gold burst. Ooh, that's, that's bad on a couple of nice. notes. Good use of the flight to back off, stay out of that air throw range. One important note, Gold Burst, or Burst in general, does count as a hit. So if it hits Sato, Eddie goes away. Yes. And that is very important to take care of advantage of that timer when you have it. Oh, back out of the throw. Okay, I like that. No, that's not a Chicago punish. I do no. want to clear that up. That was very important for positioning, and now he's going to have positive bonus and close to 50% meter. Going to be able Wow, to raw vortex. No punish, though. Spins to BRC. BRC's, yeah, good punish, throw. good punish. We okay. got a one-to-one. -one. King of Bones tying it up here. King of Bones starting to show, you know, he's been playing fighting games for a really long time. Definitely longer than Jinsoku. Uh, the possibly longer, like, King of Bones has been playing fighting games for roughly as long as Jinsoku's been playing video games, most likely, <laughs> just based on the age difference between the two of them. But Jinsoku obviously no slouch either. Yes. Good blocks, holding the JH. That wrist starting to crank up though. He's going to have to be careful here. Oh no. Another one. back in for the grab, yeah. And he's back up. Here we go. Good okay. vortex. Goes for it again. Catches the back dash. Oh boy. Batman. Good tech. Yeah. That was heads up by Jinsoku. <gasps> Excellent throw. Oh. Good blocks from the dust. Punish? Yes. Oh, wow. That wasn't a punish, actually. That was just a counter hit. I guess he caused him pushing a button. Fire Slash, I do believe, will punish uncharged dust up yes. close like that, or even charged dust up close. But worked out for King of Bumps there. Jinsoku with another gold burst here. Let's see what he does with the meter. Frog goes over. YRC, YRC. That puts Eddie away. That's pretty good here. Anyone's round right now. Pose since the frog. Unsummon. Pose yeah, again. Or frog out. again. Gets hit by Ooh, the that's expensive. Time. Yeah, maybe tried to sneak a grab in. Dust. Frog. Jinsoku's spending a lot of meaner on Faultless. Spend it. Amorphous that will kill. It. Yep. Through the wall. Wow. Good stuff, King that of Bones. That was a fantastic turnaround. Yeah, qualifying for top eight in the winner's side. Good stuff. Oh, wait. That means I got to go play. Yeah. Oh, no. Kizzer Crate against Shiken. Going to be Soul versus Anji. Good luck. This is going to be a fun one. Avenge me. I will do my best. <laughs> Right. I'd like to remind everyone you can hit exclamation point Maturino in the chat. You can see the Maturino that was set up for us for the event if you'd like to support our local players here. Uh, as we are in our second week returning to offline, uh, you know, you're welcome to come out. Please be mindful. We do expect everyone to be vaccinated, masks at all times. Um, and, uh, you know, we're trying to be here and be safe and have fun with each other. The safety comes first, though. All right, getting set up here for this next match. Going to be Anji against Soul. You dare to enter the mayhem. Yeah, no surprises on the characters here.
that because they're looking for a song. I think he might have actually just stuck it out with the Milia theme. I didn't, I didn't see what it was. It won't hurt for us uh, to get a new one in there. I'm glad that I got my run with Milia theme on stream, though. Mankind new. Duel one. Let's rock. I'm gonna hit the right button soon at the start of the match. It's probably not gonna be this match or the next match, but I'll get it. Good wait there. Waiting out the back dash. Spinning in, getting the grab. Nice back dash though. Went for another hop into the grab. Good call out by Shaiken. Waits out the Fujin low. Yeah, being respectful here, but oh no, the spin was a little too far for the grab there. Good check with the 5 feet. Shaiken doing a good job being respectful of the Fujin mix. Not going too ham, but he's also not really kind of challenging that much. So we'll see if Kizzer... Oh, no, no. Good timing. Backdash is the time that Kizzer decides to hop into the kill. All right. Able to get the burst out. Nice 6P. Going to get the hard knockdown here. Stand it up. Going to have to hold the mix in. It's the grab. Yeah, you got to respect that with the butterfly on top of you. Because we're taking round one here. Nice spin through the success. Gonna get the full punish. Ooh, misses with the Ko. Okay, that was actually a fortunate trade for Kizzer. Back it off. Doesn't want to hold the gun playing on block. Corner carry that meaty Fafner forcing you to block. Nice 5k on the other side. And he gets the bounce. Clean hit. Yep, gets the splat. Tyrant Rift. All right, Anji, hanging on a thread. Not a lot of help. Yeah, just able to find the safe jump. That counter super was on deck, but Kizzer uh, didn't quite let it rip. Yeah, that meaty Fafner is so hard to hold. Forces you into a guard break state, so you can block the next action, but you can only block the next action. Okay, Ko able to find the counter hit. Uses the knockdown to side switch, regains the corner positioning. Very slight likely here for Kizzer, but gonna get a big conversion off the counter hit TD here. Splat doesn't spend the super, but does have a lot of meter to work with. Nice PRT. And Kizzer actually, I like that back dash, right? Shaiken showed that he was gonna just relax, so Kizzer held on to his meter, didn't need to PRC out, and he's able to take game one. Finding the 2K doesn't lead to a whole lot. Second able to come back, get the three frame 5K there. Nice back dash. What's the grab? All right, fortunate with the burst too. The burst actually threw Anji backwards out of the corner. Shaiken went for the grab after the BRC. Gonna get punished here, starting to get opened up by the Fujin low. He's expecting Kizzer Crate to go to the second, third level option, so Kizzer just sticking it out with the safest one. Positive bonus. Now that post Fujin situation becomes way scarier with the RC on deck and no burst. This should be the round. The RC maybe wanted red RC, not sure, but either way, able to clean his plate there. That's going to be a punish. Yeah, takes the grab. Fastest punish available. Butterfly there, holding it down. And again. All right, Kizzer, the mix up starting to work. He's rolling. Good sequence here. Going to get the splat. What's the mix? Going to have a safe jump option available if he wants. He's just going to respect. Giant likely doesn't need to overextend, and that's going to do it. Stuff to Kizzer. He dares to enter the mayhem. So that's going to qualify Kizzer into he one of our top to eight winner side spots. All right. And our last qualifying match for top eight. Yeah, Chris and DPS. Um, give me the, give me two and then run the other two off. 
We'll show a couple of losers matches before we get into that top eight. What's up, Crow? I see you in the chat. Hope you're well. All right, DPS versus Chris Chaos. Definitely a match I've been looking forward to. Going to see Axel versus Chip. Uh, of course, Chris moved past Moo to get here. Pretty fresh off of the Chip matchup. How's that? A little casual, casual soul match. Yeah, it's just all bad guy. What's he gonna do? Hit you for eighty percent off of five k? I don't think so. Oh, oh. All I'm going to say is, <laughs> five guts is important. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> there, I, there was definitely around. I think it was either against you or Flower Man, but I definitely hit Anji with three ride the lightnings, and he was still alive, and yeah. I was starting to panic. Like what? <laughs> yeah, he, he, he lives through things that most other mortals don't. It's kind of nice, actually. Yeah, what do, you, what do you say, man? You see the abs on that guy. He earned it. He earned the guts. Those are, those are goals. That's what I'm saying. Fit FGC for a reason. Man, yeah. I don't appreciate Guilty Gear making everyone <laughs> inexplicably hot in Strive. They're like, what if we take these pretty characters and make them hot? Milia came out. She's like four times. I hope they don't put Viking in this game. That would be irresponsible. <laughs> if you make Viking hotter and then she comes out, what are you going to do? It would be the best, best selling game of all time. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Get it on PC. You know the mods are coming. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, top 8 qualifier again. Uh, Chris versus another I Axel player. This time in, society. like I said, last week's champion so DPS. Did these two face off last week? I do not believe they did. So this should be new ground for both of them. So it'll be fun to watch this uh, this barn burner for set. Heaven or hell. Letting the intros rock. Good anime citizens. That's right. That's how we do it in these streets. They added a thing to Granblue that forces it. <laughs> what? Yeah. In ver we, there's new things in Granblue versus uh, that we learned about tonight. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that I need to figure out how to turn some of them off. Oh, wow. Chris Chaos getting first knockdown running right in with the 5K pressure. Good blocks by TPS, but oh, he's got mixed on the other side. Ooh, fast RC combos into the, uh, into the spins. Yeah, fa fast RC. I want to say that uh, I think the RC system in this game is very well done. I enjoy it a lot. I like that fast RC is mildly execution locked, right? It's yes. very rewarding, but they did make it reasonably hard to do, but not so hard that, you, you know, a good player can't do it consistently. That's right. Chip starting to become an issue. Yep. Maybe he got chip, maybe got low. Chip got chips enough. Who'd have thunk it, right? Good block. Yeah, the w one of the things that makes this matchup such a pain for Axel is that Chip really doesn't care too much about Axel's ability to zone. Because he has so much mobility. Oh, yeah, excellent you, stop on the uh, You saw how overhead. DPS ended up in the corner to begin with. Was Chris just did dash ball was break and blocked at a range where he got to punish what he blocked. Uh, like, DPS did the option he would have done when Chip was across the screen. Waiting out, looking for the burst. Gets the leaf grab here. Not quite enough meter to RC yet. Catches him not blocking. Yeah, this uh -oh. is going downhill for DPS. He's in the dangerous territory. He doesn't have meter either. Ooh. Oh, no. And, yeah, rough burst. One of the unfortunate realities is bursting K-Alpha, the upwards <laughs> diagonal alpha blade, is... Uh, it's not very good. And I don't know I, how I, it, I've learned it, that by experience. Confer how it compares to like exert bursting, but the burst itself raises your character up in the air. Yeah, it's the same, uh, same deal. Yeah, so there's already, you, you already have to judge things on, you know, not where you are now, but slightly above. Right. DPS, however, out to a gigantic lead. That is the one thing, when Chip does get hit, he bleeds. Because ninjas are made of paper mache. Stagger 5k pressure. Good use of the faultless, pushing Chris out. 
We guess we're just gonna hang on here. That's the excellent, the second excellent 5k that DPS has done so far. The first one was to stop the uh, the wreck overhead in uh, the last round before. Quest 2H, the Alpha, get smashed by Glow Splash. Yeah, I like that burst. I'm gonna hold the bomber. Excellent falling in JK and the knockdown by DPS. And DPS is trying to buy some space out of the corner with the dash block, but still pinned down here. He still got burst. He's got 50 meter. He's just chilling right now. Excellent nice sounds good. on the gamma. Yes. Oh no. Stuffs the gamma, and then Chris tried to run in afterwards and kind of caught him off guard, and we got a one to one. DPS cleans that up, and Storm is right back with a round. Or with the game himself, showing why he won last week. He's pretty good. Alright, game three. Big counter hit. Big okay, pretty nice, good. good conversion. Look at the damage. That's just one four hit combo. Nice. It's an air back dash. Gets over the poke. He's gonna get clipped here though, put to the corner. There's yeah, the lead on. Oh, that was scary. In there. Oh, he staggers, good patience by DPS, but look at the risk. Ooh, every button he pushes is scary right now. And the chip is also starting to add up. There good block on the overhead. Still hasn't found his turn, but a clutch jump. Not low enough to get a combo from the punish, but. At the moment, he has the advantage, but... Finally catches in on the risk yeah. and gets DPS's burst. And it's still not over. Crystal has 50. Ooh, gets clipped on a trade. Was that a trade or was that fun? What was that button? DPS sure. on match point regardless. Yeah, worked out for Crystal. At least that ended quickly, so DPS was not able to regain his burst. Chris does have the burst advantage. Already down a good chunk of health, though. Ooh, Ooh, that's a big drop, though. There. No burst available. He has to hold this combo. Can he get to the wall? Not fully, but he does have the pressure. Jumps, Jumps out of the lead on. grab. Falls onto a 6P. That's still a chip advantage by a mile. Yeah, if you block a 6P in the air universally, you're going to be in a lot of block stun when you land. Big counter hit. Oh, that was scary. That counter hit almost pushed him too far to combo, but he was able to put it together, and we have round point, match point, both players, rather. Yeah, Chris was able to convert on that uh, on that cranked wrist gauge this round. DPS was not able to block forever this time. Triple jumping. Looking for an instant. She just runs up on him, because that's what Chip does. And the regular grab? Normal throw, yeah. And I feel like all the pressure that Chris has established bought him that regular grab because he hasn't gone to that option so far this set. Yeah, that's the first one. There's the reverse command grab. This is anyone's game right now. Yep. A lot of meter on the board. Chris has burst. DPS does not. Straight into super. I like this. Cash out your damage while you have the meter. Did he get the side switch? No. J2K brings him back down. Trade. Well, that was a big whiff, but oh, caught him looking. Wow. And Chris stamps his ticket in the top eight on yeah, the winner's side. I believe side. Uh, that is going to be against you when we get there. Uh -huh. I, I think that's where that lines up. Uh, some classics never die. Yep. Shocking state of events <laughs> in Guilty Gear. We're going to have to watch Chris Chaos versus Kizukrate. <sighs> Brand new stuff. The other side of winners is going to be the arm against King of Bums. That's going to be that's going to be fun to watch. We're going to get a couple of the losers qualifiers though, and then once uh, we're going to run two of the losers qualifiers on stream, run the other two off, uh, and then we will get on to our top eight. So sitting down now, I see Jinsoku and Great Fern Man. Soul Chip. I haven't actually seen a lot of what uh, out of uh, Great Fern Man. I haven't seen a lot of what he's been doing in this game. Uh, if I remember correctly, are him and the arm roommates? Oh, something like that, I think. I, I thought I, re I thought I remember hearing that they lived together. Uh, so maybe training offline, but uh, interested to see what he's bringing to Strive. A pretty good all-around fighting game player in general. Yes, he's he's excellent in the lab. He'll put out a lot of great yes. tech on Twitter. Also, very. Uh, very important community member, very early with the translations of patch notes for various games when they yes. come out. Great Fernman's Evernote, so very important God. to the community. Ah, those are the days. 
chip is out of There's the chip coming out of Fernman. Yeah, he is willing to play whatever. Like, he doesn't really have an archetype, so to speak. He'll play big bodies, he'll play speedsters, he'll play shotos. I will say he'll generally play good characters. Yeah, that would it, be the they, limiter, they, right? They, the, the, the characters can't be PP. <laughs> thanks thanks to Birdman. Uh, he bought me uh, my only tournament win ever against the arm because he was pushing how buff Catalina was right before COVID. And I was like, I did a, a, a vague tweet of like, I at least want to be the Catalina main now that everyone's bandwagging. So the arm picks Narmaya because he's like, I don't want to be a bandwag Catalina player. So he picked Narmaya against me and I won and he definitely would have beaten me in the cat mirror. <laughs> hey, we take those. All right, DP, go back at you. Good movement here from Jinsoku. Punish That's vortex. punishable, yes. Well, good block on the J2K, though. Spin to 50. Good block on the Gamma, too. He just gets punched to death. Nice. Jinsoku up early. Run up grab. Never a dull moment in Guilty Gear. Again. Yeah, the, the mix-up's coming at you fast, man. And keep in mind, like, this is arguably the slower Guilty Gear. And look how many turns that Burnman just got in in the span of about six real-life seconds. I mean, doesn't matter what version it is. Chip is still really, really fast. Ooh. DP on DP violence here. Oh, uh, gets over the 6S, though. That is the answer to that 6S if you can IAD wow. over it. Oh, two. Yeah, he was too low to get the conversion after the full charge dust. <laughs> so after about 14 DPRCs from both sides, Jade Furman ties it up one round to one in the first game. <laughs> oh, 2 s 2 h Caught him looking. Is that just a win cancel? Yes, it's both wow. cancelable because of course it is. Rude. You know what? It says a lot about Soul Pressure that making them block 5S, 5H uh, got a burst out just because of the risk that was building up. Yeah. Should get the splat. Oh, just short of it. This is actually maybe favorable for Jinsoku. If you can get another hit here, the fact that the wall break didn't let Chip out of the corner can help. Ooh, wow. Just JTK's off of the Volcanic. Oh, God. That's Everyone great. got counter hit. Everyone in the building immediately counter hit. DRC, stay safe. Success looks good. There goes the first. Next hit wins. JTK. Oh, no. I thought he thought he was yep, going to be on the is. other side. Yep. Burnman taking game one. Pretty closely contested there, though. Ninja. Dual one. Oh. Far slash. Oh, no. Far slash is such a fuck round start button. And Soku through the wall early. Great frame is. Yeah, and he already has 50 plus positive, so he's gonna have all the resources. And still got his burst. He's got he's got the everything. Oh god, he coughs up the burst immediately. DPRC. And then just run up DP with his meter. Okay. You know what? Why not? Nice. Drop air dashing back to make sure he gets the splat. Got to hold the mix. There's the low. And Great Furman very quickly. I mean, that was a hotly contested game one, but Great Furman looks pretty in control right now. Uh-oh, here comes Chip Mixes. Oh, yeah. Great Furman just turned up the heat here, and it's... When Chip, when Chip players get going, like when they actually get in their zone, it's... It's incredibly difficult to stop. A little bit late on the RC, though. Didn't get the red RC, not able to continue. Now he's at an extreme positional disadvantage. Never mind. Oh, oh, heavy's yes. pretty good. Jump heavy? Nope. DPRC. 5D. Combo. A little too low. Yeah, a lot of gravity built up. Sort of similar system to Mortal Kombat, where uh, over the length of a combo, oh, no. gravity builds up. But that may be our qualifier for worst burst so far of the night. I mean, Soku with a rough one. Sometimes you just get hit and it's just like, you gotta slap that burst button. Yeah. And it's, it's you know, sometimes the too, time. if you have the read on a gold burst and they made contact that you didn't expect, that all kinds of things can go wrong there. Right. And we're gonna have our other loser side match. Looks like we're gonna have Zach in a box coming up against Shiken. So we're gonna see another soul coming out of Shiken. 
and we're gonna see Zato coming from Zach in the box side. Zato won. Hope oh. everyone's doing well. Reminder, we are here at Ignite in Skokie. Uh, Friday nights, uh, new night for us. We used to be here at this location on Thursdays. We, the Elson location not currently open on Mondays and Tuesdays. We used to do Monday nights there. Uh, we'll see in the future if we can get that back, but that is a much smaller location than Skokie, so not really the time to be cramming in there. Meanwhile, you can see this great venue that we have here. There's so much space available There's for us to run the tournament. So Look at the size of this here. place. You got Tekken on at the bar in the back. Yeah, a lot of options to be able to actually safely run this you know, tournament, make sure everyone can have their space to breathe. Of course, vaccinations and masks are required at all times. So we'd love to see if you want to come out, but please make sure you got those held down. Excited to see Zach. He's such a smart player. I'm in awe every time I watch him or we'll get to play him. It's just, it's just all around good. He's so good. You know why? Because he's from the Street Fighter 4 generation. <laughs> the strongest <laughs> players <laughs> known to man. We're gonna say that. <laughs> oh. Only fundamentals. Shout out to me in the chat. Hope you guys are doing well out there. It's been 10 seconds and nobody got hit. This is, this might be a new strive record. All right, Zach with the early the knockdown. Yeah. Nice. Zen already doing a good job of using multiple buttons to try to just keep Soul at bay, which is the, the crux of the battle for Zato, right? If you can get your party started, great, but it's very important to not let Soul start his. Ooh, that's a new answer. Just whenever Zato sends Eddie at you off of the oppose, just Vortex in. Good placement for the oppose, yeah. Forced out the jump, got the air grab, ran into the command grab though. Nice backdash. Shaiken has shown that he is a bit aggressive with the backdashes on wake up, so we'll see if Zach can scout that over the course of their match. I know because I'm very bad against wake up backdash, and that definitely beat me up too. Is he gonna? Oh, he tried it. He didn't quite get the air throw, but. Oh, and the 6S oh, with the squishy Zato health is enough. That wasn't a counter hit, so he wasn't really going to get a lot for that, though. Okay, good back dash to Zach. Able to get out of the corner. Oh, he doesn't know. Yeah, so if you you have to block Bandit Breaker standing, and then you've got to grab a ton of shit. If you try to push a button, I assure you, 5K is going to beat what you try to do. Oh, well, this is a big hit. Nice. Okay. Didn't quite get the end, dude. Yeah. This is actually very, very bad. Yeah, this could definitely go downhill very quickly for Shike. You know what? This is almost a release right now. Is yeah. that going to just do a Morphous around start? No, he's going to BRC, but too far for the burst part to make contact, so no slowdown. That was a good back dash by Shike. Zach with the YRC. I like the YRC now, right? I do not think in general that YRC is a very good value compared to other uses of meter, but using it when you have positive bonus is a whole different story. Mm -hmm. Being able to <laughs> still get that meter back okay. and not deal with the meter cooldown. Right. That's the important part of positive bonus. Like the enhanced meter gain is great, but what's most important is the fact that you don't go into meter penalty when you use it. You can faultless freely, you can RC freely. Good defense here from Shaiken. Finds a success. Yeah, this is scary. Oh, yeah, good use of the oppose. Uh -oh. Is he going to get the side switch here? Not quite. Spends the super to get Eddie back though. So he, oh. <laughs> he to some extent, actually had Shaiken cornered because he had the sandwich positioning. Spent the super to get Eddie back, but Shaiken able to get out of it without dying. That is a lot of risk. What? Not, not that not that he needed it. What the uh, Yeah. Uh, thanks command throw. Throwing the gift subs around. Hope to see you out here soon. Bandit, that's a punish, yes. Good job punishing the bandit revolver. Side swap. Gets a pick up on the call. Not doesn't get all of it, but he got it he got enough of it. Stalo. In his back, there goes the pose. Shikin is back in there. Challenged by Zack. Burst back in the corner. Yeah, yep. fortunate side switch on the burst. Sometimes the burst hit like that. 
just gets clipped, and that's gonna hurt. Gold burst. Showtime. Close. Oh, good job managing Eddie. Actually, was able to poke Eddie out, and the 5k. That's, a kill. that's Goodbye. it. Wow. Shiken gonna take it. Good stuff. Hits that 50 meter and immediately RCs it to Are close out the something? round game and the match. Wins. All right, so that's going to send Shiken to the top uh, top eight loser side. Uh, we'll see if uh, the rest of our bracket is filled out yet. I think that was it? Question mark? The other two matches are playing off stream. I'm not sure if they're done done, so we'll see. It looks like not uh, quite yet. Still like waiting on the results of that, so... Okay. Going to be just a minute before we get to our top eight action. Up first, though, the first winner semi going to be the arm against King of Bums. The second one going to be Kizzer Crate sitting next to me going up against Chris Chaos. This is this is going to be a barn burner. Yeah, keep in I'm mind, uh, I believe last week they might have done all of top eight, three out of five. Um, it I, was not. Okay. It was so on top three. That, that is what they're doing again this week. Mm -hmm. We are keeping it normal, being reasonable, getting people out at an okay time. Oh, I guess we're just jumping right into it. Okay. Yep. Yeah, the arm, king of bums, sitting down. 